I'm a beautiful family and welcome to this video. I'm very excited because I'm going to try this brand for the first time and you've already seen the title of this video. Today I'm going to try the Odin's, Odin's BI Beauty or uh, the, no the Norm series. I, I've heard about this brand before and but I have never purchased anything from them and I really am excited because when I saw this collection on Instagram, I was immediately in love and I purchased all of the eyeshadows. It comes with a big one and three small eyeshadows. I didn't purchase the highlighters because I felt like they were very beautiful, but I felt like I didn't really need them or I wouldn't wear them on every day basis. So I felt like I do have plenty of highlighters I need to go through, but I bought all of the palettes. So if you want to, or if you're interested to see me trying make, create a makeup look with this palette today, then please keep on watching. Okay, this is Verda. Uh, let me just read the card about this collection. Uh, it says the Norn. Uh, Norns series. In Norns mythology, three sisters wave and garden the fab of fate. They also attend the spring of life that supports the world tree. The Norn sisters are the most powerful beginning in cosmos. Urd, the past, lends her name from the well of fate. Verdandi, the present, symbols the process of becoming. Skuld, the future, the youngest who decides future. The four eyeshadow palettes, one 16 color eyeshadow palette and three six color eyeshadow palettes. In this series are inspired by the known sister in the packaging design, color selection and the name of eyeshadow, eyeshadow colors. We also selected three handmade highlighters that reflect the known treasures that I really don't have in my collection, but so, but created the known series, we pay tribute to every god, goddess out there who has controlled the f her fate through the rough year and it's directing her bright future the known sister living each and every one of us i don't have my glasses so sometimes it's hard for me to read but i was really happy when it, it, it took me a while to receive these i bought them immediately when they launched and uh, uh, I think the packaging is stunning. The one I'm going to use today is this one. Uh, the only, it's the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen. I don't know if there, if there is any other packaging like this, but I don't understand. <laughs> the only thing I feel like it's weird is the colors of the palettes outside packaging that doesn't really go in with the inside. So I've never tried anything from this brand before. I've never tried the eyeshadows. Um, I'm kind of very curious to find out. Let me open and show you all of these. Let me know down below what you want to see next. This is wood. Uh, this is also stunning, the green one. It's really stunning. That one and um, I'm kind of, I heard good stuff about this uh, brand. I heard, uh, I watched reviews, I watched uh, tutorials. Uh, oh, maybe I should use this one too. I don't know, hmm, maybe this one. Or the first one which one I will use I will use the first one school is also kind of orangey that I could use but I'll do that another time and this is the big palette it's also cruelty free oh, this one is stunning too oh, I was having a hard time to decide what to try the pens are a little bit smaller than I thought I like the mirror but I don't like that it's I don't want to you know, I don't like that it's kind of um, shaped like this. I want the, I want my mirrors to be, you know, the whole side, not cut out like this, but it's okay. Um, I will link that, I will make, uh, I will put the link down below where you can purchase this collection. I think it looks stunning. I think it looks very inspiring. I really want to create many makeup looks. Uh, today I have a little bit of headache and I feel a little bit tired so I want to go and use one of the palettes and create like a very nice makeup look. So I will do that. Cool. So let's start with them. 
creating the makeup look. I already primized and set it with some powder. I've used wet and wild eyeshadow prime powder. So let's go into the makeup look. So I'm going to go in this shade here. It looks like it has some sparkle in it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it definitely has some shimmer, like glitter sparks that are a little bit visible on the lid. Let's try the deeper part of the shade. It blends very nice. I'm not really, I don't like that there is some sparkle in because it's very light and it's a nice crease shade, but it's okay, it's not too much. Hmm, not bad. I'm going to uh, try to also grab this, like a moon color to kind of dip it up a little bit. It kind of works too. It blends very nice. I'm going to go in with the same brush on this shade that's called Vibrant and go into the crease. It's pigmented. I haven't tried anything from this brand, but I only heard good things about this brand and I think they're a Swedish brand too. But it ships from, I don't know where it's made. It's a Swedish brand, but I don't know where it's made because it shipped, I'm not sure if it was shipping from China or Stockholm. Made in China, yes. Uh, produced, made in China, but it's a Swedish brand. It's cruelty free. So it took me a while to receive it, but this is blending very nice. I really like it. Do I can still see some sparkles and glitters from the first shade? I couldn't decide which palette to buy, so I bought all of them. And I really want to try more. I'm going to use these a lot on my channel. Just let me know down below what you want to see next. I'm going to take a smaller brush like, brush like this and go into everyday shade here. That's like a brownish plummy shade. And put that here. Try to dip it up a little bit. It's not really showing. There is some fallout from this shade. Uh, it's very nice. It looks very deep, uh, but it kind of takes it a little bit for me to build it up. Um, could be that I set my primer and that I already have shades under, so it kind of needs more sticky base to grab on, but it's blending nice though. And it's building up very nice. I'm going to grab a flat brush and I'm going to go into this precious, I think it's called, this shade here. I don't know if it picks it up, the brush, let's see. Yeah, it does. To deep out the outer corner, though it's shimmery shade, but let's see if we can use the finger. Yeah, it goes well with the brush or with the finger. This looks very nice, very stunning. I am uh, going to clean the brush and go in with a lighter shade. I think I want to, I'm going to use the same brush. This is, it just says eyeshadow brush. I don't know what brand it is, very old. But I'm going to go into this orange shade here first. It's kind of split and it does, brush does pick up a little bit, but I think, I'm, yeah, I think I want to use my finger instead. They don't have glitters at all, but it, oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. It looks to be more gold than, um, or oh, that's, oh my God, that's metallic. It feels like to be a, a, a little bit chunkier, but you know, when you when you press and pull a little bit, it kind of melts into metallic shade. 
there is some fallout, definitely. But it doesn't bother me at all. That's stunning. Um, it blends very nice. I'm going to go into this blue shade with my pinky. It's a little bit chunkier color, but... Oh. Wow. That's, that's beautiful. On the eye, it looks more like silver. Kind of going back and forward and kind of blending these shades into each other. Okay, I'm going to clean my under eyes because <laughs> it looks messy. Kind of interesting texture of these eyeshadows. It reminds me a little bit of some of the... Is it Huda Beauty that has something similar? I'm not really sure. Uh, clean up the sparkles. It does have a plenty of fallout. But it's not bothering me at all. So I'm going to go and do rest of my makeup and I'll be back to finish the makeup look or the eye look. So guys uh, I applied some lashes and lipstick. The lipstick I have on is the nude from makeup, Mecca Makeup and I think it's called Pure. Um, I kind of like it. So we are going to go in, I'm in love with this makeup look. I'm in love, really in love. I'm going to go in with um, a smaller brush <laughs> that I haven't found yet. But we are going to go in with a smaller brush. And I think I want to go in with the shade, um, this orange, vibrant, this one. And the one lower lash line. It's pigmented. And then I'm going to go in with this now, but I'm tr going to try to pick up only this moon kind of part, this brown shade here, and blend the edges a little bit. That's really nice. I also want to go in with the um, darker shade, the everyday shade, on the edge here, just to deep up and connect it with the upper lower lash line. That's kind of, I really like this makeup look. I am going to take a pointier brush and I'm going to go in in this unknown, that's the kind of bluish silvery shade. It looks more blue on in the pan than it is on the eye, but we are going to place it here. It's very I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of cushy, uh, creamy shade. I do have sim something similar to this. I'm not really sure what palette, but there is another brand that kind of has similar texture to this, but this is stunning. This is stunning. Okay. I'm not going to fix my hair. Let's just leave it like this. Um, this is the final look. I'm obsessed. Let's swatch the shades. Let's swatch all of the shades. Can we swatch it here? Yes. I'm going to go in with this Now shade. And Vibrant. Uh, I'm going to swatch all of these shades first. Then we're going to go in these two. That's the one. This kind of feels a little bit powdery, but creamy at the same time. Very, uh, there is going to be fallout. It doesn't bother me at all, but it kind of, oh, this is a nice shade, but they blend very nice. This one looks to be like um, satin, fin satin finish. Uh, <laughs> what it's interesting that it le looks more green in the pan than it does on the eyes. I feel like they look more different in the pans than when you swatch them and use them on the eyes, but it's, I created a beautiful makeup look, so I'm very happy with this palette. And it was very easy. There is some fallout. Now, if you can see some shimmer on my eyes from the glittery shades in the middle, but not bother me at all. So I'm not usually a fan of split pans, but I'm never going to hit pan in this. So let's swatch these two. 
this one that kind of looks orange in the pan looks more gold on my eyes but it does look orange when you swatch it and this one looks more see when you build it up it looks more blue but on my eyes it looks more silver but it still doesn't bother me but it's beautiful beautiful shades amazing quality i'm very interested and can't wait to try more palettes or try these other palettes and korean makeup looks i'm definitely going to create more makeup looks with this palette i feel inspired i can see myself using these over and over again and i'm definitely going to create more makeup looks with this palette to show you the vi variety that you have even if there is only like six sh shades in here you can create many many makeup looks i think it's a stunning stunning palette really nice palette and this is the swatches so beautiful beautiful uh, cute packaging love the packaging love the formula can't wait to create more makeup looks with this uh, these palettes that i have uh, they look stunning and very interesting something different something new for me uh, let me know down below if you tried anything from this brand what do you think are you curious to try do you really want to try more something from them i will put a link down below where you can find uh, these palettes that i purchased but yeah it's nice i do have a headache but i still feel uh, inspired to film this video and still think it's a beautiful my kids are playing outside maybe you can hear them uh, i just feel like this is a very nice very nice makeup look so i'm very happy give a thumbs up if you like this video or and like this makeup look don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye